Uganda is among the least developed countries. North and northeast of the country are underdeveloped. Why? The over 20 year political strife in the north has left families poor and hungry. Prolonged drought, torrential flooding, and cattle rustling from the Karimojong disturbed people's livelihoods. Meaningful development activities and agricultural settlement in the two sub regions, north and northeast, have not been sustainable. Today, with some relative peace in these areas, there is an effort by the population to return to viable agriculture. Food security and family income are a priority in these regions. The NGOs and government are playing major roles in this exercise. We were given the knowledge on convene and convincing and helped us with the, the tools to be used. We were sent to the villages in the community where we work. Our entry point to these communities is that we go to them, we mobilize them, we train them, uh, we bring them together to, to discuss, dialogue on the challenges that they are facing. The NGOs are being guided by the National NGO Forum. It ensures every NGO does what it registered to do in the area of operation. Our participation was to look at how do we ensure that the civil society organizations in these three districts are able to understand the laws that govern them but also the other stakeholders in government who work with them to enforce these laws are able to appreciate how to work with civil society. An international civil organization, ECO Cooperation, is funding the Civil Engagement Alliance to promote activities of selected civil society organizations in Teso, Karamoja and Lango subregions in advocacy, improved agriculture, proper education, nutrition and marketing for better livelihoods of people in these regions. The main focus categories are the vulnerable, especially women, youth and persons living with disability. The strategy starts with empowering communities so that they understand their rights to access services for improved livelihoods. You are all welcome to today's meeting. In this meeting we have different categories there are five women, five persons with disabilities, and five youth. We as women face a problem of access to land for development, yet majority of us are widows. Apart for coming today in this village. Members, make community parliament. Members of Agali Community Parliament here today, the women, youth and persons with disability, we have come to listen to each other. The success of this initiative has been facilitated by the community advocacy, where groups are trained on land acquisition, quality seed and market access. Quality seed when planted gives a higher yield, but when we plant local seed, we get a low yield. We have no dealers for local seed, yet the improved seed have a number of varieties on the market. They are trying also as farmers forum to engage sub-county leadership to further continue, you know, like having constant conversations or engagement with members of the coordinators of Operation Wealth Creation because um, the quality of inputs they deliver and then also the timing is not really so appropriate. Uh, when we talk about cassava, there are very many cassava varieties uh, in the in Teso region. So we advocate for improved varieties that are adapted to the current uh, climate changes. They are addressing seed quality, increased food production and nutrition, 
they are also addressing emerging challenges like stray animals and evasive weeds. When as, as regards to fake seeds, and once you you caught, you 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 penalize. Uh, we also have we are in the process of ensuring also our farmers are also safeguarded in regards to produce. We are soon it is in the process now in the Attorney General's office to have that ordinance also pass as regards with produce. So what we are, we are what we are trying to advise the farmers buy the seed from the agents, especially these agents that are based in some places, shops. Because now when you buy from the market, anybody can brand anything in the, in the names of any company and bring to the market. And what we are doing at the sub county, we are advising the farmers to buy from the particular agents that are uh, based in some offices so that we can easily trace and claim especially if the seed is faulty. And uh, we have been advising farmers on the criteria, the right selection of the best, the, the quality seed. The major thing they are doing in these areas concerns food security in families for women, youth and the disabled. And they want to ensure there is sustainable family income through agriculture. We want to see communities that are empowered and are able to challenge the status quo in terms of accessing land but also in terms of uh, accessing quality inputs. Farmers had increased on their production even they were able to buy their own seeds as a result of that kind of intervention because you cannot keep on producing or on supporting farmers with similar type of seed each and every year. Farmers have formed community groups they dialogue with local leaders to access programs like Operation Wealth Creation for good planting materials. A DARE Farmers Group in Morulem Sub-County in Abim District has over 40 members who have trained in cassava value chain. The group has cultivated over 100 acres of cassava with a single harvest annually. We are planting a hybrid cassava variety. It is highly promoted here. Under the ECO program, we are guided by our partners, the Arid Land program who are handling inputs and training, plus Share and Opportunity Uganda, who are helping us with market identification to our produce. Improved production has resulted in two better crop yield. The farmers are food secure and have a surplus for sale. So this particular project was to get the farmers to realize that there are better prices in the market if only they get themselves organized. Produce for the market while food security is at household. So ours was to mobilize the farmers, first of all to sensitize them to get to the level where we wanted them to be. With the training on good quality produce and market linkages, the farmer groups bulk the produce to meet market demands. We, we united as the people of Bugondo Parish, the farmers basically, and we sought ways on how we're going to, to help ourselves get liberated from poverty. And one of the things that was remaining for us was to utilize our land to produce crops that we could bulk and sell to make money. In Kateta Sub-County, Kanyangan Agricultural Food Security Cooperative Society has over 60 households. The group collects maize, cassava and millet. They are targeting a food secure community. Now, about the problems they identified as small scale farmers at that time when the training was going on was the hunger that was affecting everybody and affected production. In the ranking and the voting they carried out Hunger at that time got 92 votes. On the overall, it will require the stakeholders to engage policymakers to integrate the whole development agenda for all the people of Uganda. In the regions north and east of Uganda will be a stable family, able to contribute to economic development of Uganda as a whole.